Hello, this is Eric at the Prince Short Ford Pre-Owned Supercenter, and we're taking a look at the 2019 Ram 1500 in a limited trim and powered by a 5.7 liter Hemi V8, providing you with plenty of power for towing, hauling, and 4x4ing. Coming with power deployable running boards down below, so you can have an easier time getting in. This truck does also have adjustable ride height, uh, which is pretty nice, and freshly detailed, so it's nice and clean, but let's take a look inside. So first looking at the back seat, which is very spacious and very luxurious. You have a nice full leather interior. The, uh, if I can reach it, the middle seat folds down to become your uh, armrest, two cup holders, and a center compartment for storage too, as well as having two more cup holders here in the middle with two USBs, two USB-Cs, a 115 volt power outlet with heated and air conditioned rear seats. Uh, and then these seats can be folded up and out of the way to accommodate any other cargo reveal a little storage bin here Which can be collapsed for more storage capacity and the seats Can also be slid out for more of an incline for a more relaxed seating Configuration and you have your fitted rubber floor mats throughout the vehicle with uh, Carpet inserts that can be taken out and washed and you have some more storage bins underneath here, too But that should cover a look at the back and this truck does have a remote start, so no need to go outside on those cold mornings to warm up your vehicle. It does also have your auto lower button here, so if your vehicle's sitting high and you want to have an easier time getting in, it'll lower it more to the ground. And looking in, you have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks. You have two memory buttons for your power adjustable driver's seat, uh, pedals, and your mirrors. And now sitting in the truck with it running, you can see it's sitting at 45,615 kilometers and moving it under the steering wheel on the right hand side you have your cruise controls with distance pacing technology and your manual gear shift here uh, and then on the left you have your hands-free radio or phone controls as well as your controls for your center info screen here where you can look at your digital speedometer your vehicle info where you can look at quite a few things such as your tire pressures your uh, your suspension status or your ride height status uh, you have your vehicle info such as coolant temperature, transmission temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, <laughs> pressure oil life, battery voltage, and uh, your gauge summaries and engine hours. Then you can move down to your driver assist settings, your fuel economy, your trip info for A and B, your start stop status, and trailer tow status, your radio uh, messages such as warnings, uh, screen setup in general and back to the speedometer. You also have your hands-free radio controls on the back side of the steering wheel, but then moving on to your center, your infotainment screen, which is pretty big and easy to read. Uh, looking at your audio uh, options, you have radio Sirius, Bluetooth, even CD and USB, so you have quite a few options there for whatever you want to listen to. And then you have your seat controls, because you do have heated and air-conditioned front seats and a heated steering wheel, which is always nice for those uh, cold mornings or nights, whatever. Uh, then you have your Bluetooth phone controls, but we don't have a phone connected, so there's not much to do there. Then you have all of your apps in one, so that's everything, your seat controls, your camera controls, your radio controls, all that stuff. And then you have your digital climate controls with dual zone front climate, uh, and your navigation screens. So you're hopefully not gonna get lost on your travels. And then you can look at your backup camera as well and control your seats and everything. It's all available there. Uh, then above your screen you have your traction control shut off, your hazards, and your parallel park assist, I believe is what that is. And up here above that you have a 12 volt power outlet. And this truck does have a premium car uh, Harmon Cardon uh, stereo, so your audio is going to sound pretty decent. And then uh, moving down from your screen you have your trailer brake controller, your uh, suspension adjuster so you can lower it up uh, for off-road or lower it right to the ground um, and then you have your traction control shut off your tow haul mode your parallel or your so your park assist sensor shut off for both front and rear and then below that you have your cd player and usb usb c and auxiliary there so you can plug something in a power charge or hook up your audio and then moving left to your shifter, which is on a nice handy dial, you have your four wheel drive controls with four auto and a uh, your auto start stop shut off here too. Then shifting into reverse, you do have a backup camera with a full 360 view, so you're gonna be able to see all around your vehicle and hopefully avoid hitting anything. 
And uh, then moving on from that, you have your center cons console area here, which is all very spacious as well. This can be slid back and out of the way to give you more room here, as well as expose a 115 volt power outlet with these clips for your phone, one of which has a wireless charging pad. So if your phone is compatible, just throw it on there and it'll begin to charge. And you have your cup holders, more compartments for storage, your center compartment slash armrest with another USB inside, and then this opens up to reveal the rest of your storage area. And looking up, you have a twin panel moonroof and a power sliding rear window. Uh, but that should cover our look at the interior. So now if you're interested, feel free to give us a call at 250-563-8111 or just come on down to the dealership and have a look for yourself and have a nice day.